you know, on my uh, VCV rockers out there. Today I'm getting into a little bit of that sample and hold. I'm going to explain to you what it is. So real quick, um, I got a I got an oscillator just playing a note with the Seek 3, you know, it's kind of random. Whatever, that's not important. So, today I'm kind of going to be explaining the concept of sample and hold and how, you know, it's the beginnings of, you can start making random sounds with it, basically. So I'm going to take this sine wave, or the square wave, plug it into here. This is sample and hold. Um, by Bog Audio. Yeah, any sample and hold should work, though. So this is the trigger. And I'm going to plug the input of this other LFO. I go with the sine wave or saw wave. So the LFO is going into the input of the sample and hold. And then I'm going to plug the output of the sample and hold into, let's say, pitch. But that's playing kind of random pitches, so... I'm going to I'm going to plug it into this attenuator in order to get um a more specific or a narrower range of voltages so that way it's playing more audible sounds Okay, so every time this blow it down low. Oh here, let's turn off this. So every time this LFO is triggered, every time it's up here, it's playing a new note. So let's look at what it's doing visually. So visually you could see the notes going down. This saw wave is creating the notes.
upset with it. See, it's rising, and then it falls. The pitch is rising. And then it. So every time this one, every time this LFO goes up, okay, let's zoom out. Every time this LFO is in the on position or the up position, you know, the positive position, it's taking a new sample of this LFO's pitch or the voltage of this LFO. Yeah, that's why um, sampling holds a little tricky. You got two inputs and outputs or whatever. So this LFO, boom, slow it down. Every time it's up, it takes a new sample. Or every time it, you know, restarts the square wave. It's really slow now. Okay, yeah. Right. So now it's taking a new sample very slowly. If I want to do the opposite of that, take samples, a lot of samples in a short amount of time. So yeah, I just increase the trigger rate. And of course the trigger can be anything, it can be um, a sequence. A sequencer can trigger it. It's just taking pretty much semi-random voltages from the LFO every time the sequencer triggers the trigger of the sample and hold. So the input takes a voltage and the output of the sample and hold. Well, all right. The input takes a voltage source, you know. The trigger takes a sample of that source every time it triggers. It's the clock, basically, to trigger it. And in the output, well, that sends voltages to whatever input you'd like. Uh, in this case, it's the pitch of an oscillator. But you could do a filter, you know? You could do whatever you want. Standard filter, not bad. working
Oh, I'm an idiot. Yep, there's your sample and hold on the filter. So... Oh yeah, might be. Let's change the trigger source. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of interesting sound with a sample and hold filter. Um, yeah, that's the trigger. Yep, there's a sample and hold. It's not really that random, it's just an LFO. But, yeah, it's just sampling different parts of the LFO and turning it on and off. As you can imagine, there are more complex things you can do with sample and hold, and you can make some pretty interesting synth patches. But, I was just sort of exploring it and going over it, so you can understand the basics of it. And, I don't know, sample and hold, it just always weirds me out, the MS-20 for some reason. Maybe because I feel like most things have two inputs, or just two, an input and an output. And just the clock function of sample and hold, it, it throws me off that third variable right there. Or that, I don't know, that variable. It's not just an input and output, it has that other trigger. And it just weirds me out sometimes, so. Hopefully going over this, like, Help to make sample and hold a little more easy to understand. A little easier to understand. Alright, peace. Oh yeah, and like and subscribe if you want. enjoyed this video. And if you have any topics you would like me to talk about, you know, just let me know. Because I appreciate that feedback. Check you later. Later, skater.